channel. Today I'm just going to show you how to um, take care of the one problem that I know that many people come across, which is how to fix a saggy canvas. I know I've had more than I can count. I threw away more than I can count, which is not a good sign. And if you're doing the same like I was doing, like throwing them away, please stop. Please stop. Unless your canvas is warped, that's one thing. But sagging, stop there. Save your canvas. And let me go ahead and show you how to fix that. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So here we are. We have a problem. <laughs> Houston, we have a we have an art problem. Our canvas is saggy. <laughs> so yeah, I know how that feels, with, especially when you buy a pack of canvas canvases, and then you, I mean you can't inspect them while you're in the store. So you come home and you just were like, well, what the heck is this? This is a hot mess. How am I supposed to do my painting on this? Um, so if you're not really familiar what a saggy canvas looks like, um, you'll kind of notice in here, it's very uh, kind of shadows in, I'm trying to get the best lighting that I can. And it's very, um, it's not tight at all. This shouldn't be happening. And the sound, it doesn't really echo. So this one isn't as bad as some canvases that I've had. I actually tried to find the worst one and um, I'm actually quite lucky I don't have too many bad ones. But anyways, okay, so yeah, we wanna fix this. We wanna tighten it up. We want our artwork to be displayed beautifully and level. So all you need, believe it or not, is a handy dandy spray bottle. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's all. You don't need to go spend extra money. You don't need to spend hours of your time. You don't need to go buy another canvas, which is excellent news. And I wish I can credit all the people that I saw um, when I was looking up how to fix a saggy canvas, but there's just too many. But I was looking up so many um, different uh, ways and they all seem to be consistent. And so anyways, uh, yes, just know the reason I'm showing you this is because I did it myself. They were right. It's consistent, it's fast and cheap, and that's all you need to worry about. So here we go. Um, just take the canvas, put it upside down. You can use a wet washcloth and rub it down in here as well to make the back side of this damp. But I'm just gonna use a, um, a spray bottle. Just put this down and I'm just gonna kind of rub the back of the canvas in. Now the downfall to using a, um, a wet washcloth or damp washcloth is you cannot tuck the washcloth all the way inside underneath the wood framing of the canvas um, because there is where you're going to see these corners here you're not gonna be able to fix that so it's still an issue but if you hear that there's more of an echo and it's not, it's it's already tighter, so you can't really see, you know, a, a larger area um, bulging out when I poke my finger. It's just really right where that finger finger is. So to fix the corners, I'm gonna show you how to do it this way. Just take your spray bottle and spray it inside the frame of the canvas, inside the wood frame of the canvas. Don't take a you know, glass of water and pour it down like a waterfall and drench it all in there. You just need a few sprays, but try to concentrate your sprays in the corners. So maybe one, two, three, maybe one across, and then one, two, three. Just kind of let it sit in there, maybe tilt it, let whatever drop or two that um, came out of water or that's condensing into a couple of drops, let it trickle down and just roll down into the, the corners there. Just give it a minute. I know it sounds really silly, but I swear, just give it a minute. Um, and now I'm going to turn this like that. And if you can already tell, look at the difference between this, this corner, these two corners, and these corners. I mean, this one's almost already completely level. And it's just gonna take another 30 seconds or so before they go completely level. So as you can see so far, this is not time consuming. This is 
salvageable and you can do this on paintings um, or canvases that you already have your artwork on because sometimes canvases tend to like re-sag. So let that be your answer to that problem as well. And yeah, you can already see yeah, it's almost gone. So I'm gonna do this and do the same thing. And just let the water kind of trickle down in the corners. Same thing again. And if it doesn't look like it's tightening at all, then just give it another spray or two. Um, again, you don't need to drench your canvas. If you do find yourself thinking that you made, that you may have put too much water in there, it'll dry. I mean, hello, you put paint on here, it dries, so don't worry about it. Um, yeah, you can see, these are getting better. I'm probably gonna put a little bit more water right here. So again, I will try to do that again. I really want you to see a darn near perfect canvas here. I don't want to shortchange you on any kind of uh, thinking or hope that you can't fix or salvage your canvas. So let's see here. And you can just tilt it like if you're doing normal, you know, food art anyway. Oh, yay! Ta-da! Look, look at that. Super easy peasy. Oops. Well, and you have that tightness. So it's kind of like your little indicator too. So perfect. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind, if you were, if you found this helpful, please um, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And while you're at it, um, I would love if you hit subscribe so you can see more videos as they come out and also turn on that notification button so that when I do have a new video, you guys will, will be alerted. All right, guys, so go ahead and get painting. Don't let anything else stop you. All right, guys, until next video, we'll see you next time.